Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a collection video. This is summer of 2015. I apologize that I haven't done a video in a while. It's just I've been on vacation and not have and I've not been able to access Wi-Fi. So with that, let's get started with the collection video. So first off, as most of you who are subscribers will know, I have my Techno SCT410. This is a slightly different body than what was in the review, but this is a great truck. Um, I'll link the review that I did in the description below. So yeah, with that, let's get to the next car. So my next car, well I should say cars, are my two F1 cars. There's my Tamiya F103 with the pretty crappily painted body. And I'll move this over. And then here's my Tamiya F102 with no body. <laughs> um, so on my Tamiya F102, I only have a servo right now. It's a uh, LA, LHS Electronics um, High Torque Servo. It's just a servo that uh, I had laying around. Um, it's got a carbon fiber chassis, as most of you can see. Apart from that, um, it's pretty standard. Put this to the side. I'm going to take the body off the F103 real quick. Um, in the F103, I'm running a cheap old Futaba servo that I had laying around, a Spectrum receiver, a Trackstar 13.5 uh, brushless sensor um, motor, excuse me, and right now I don't have an ESC in it, but normally I run a Trackstar 120 amp ESC. So I'm going to move these over to the side. This one. My next car is my... Oh, whoops. Drop that. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, my newest my newest car and uh, my next car is my Tamiya TA02 uh, WRC uh, Subaru. So this is a car that I picked up at a garage sale for 15 euros, which is approximately $17. Came with the car and a couple other uh, parts and pieces. When I got it, it had a excuse me, a mechanical ESC, and so since then I have removed that mechanical ESC, and I'm going to put this to the side. So right now, as you can see, it has no ESC, no receiver, but normally I have like a Traxxas brushed ESC and a Spectrum receiver. It's still running the motor that came with it, which is like a, I think it's a Trinity Racing 505 motor. Not really sure on the turns or anything like that, but it's a decent motor. It's Produces a good amount of power, and since this is an older car, I believe it's from 92, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't want to put a brushless motor that's insane power in this. And then I'm running a Spectrum uh, 1258 TG servo, which is just the servo I had. Um, this is, I haven't been able to drive it a lot, so I can't really say for sure if it's a good car or not. But I can't see anything wrong with it. It's a four-wheel drive touring car that's pretty old. Should make for a pretty good basher. I mean, not in like a off-road sense, but an on-road basher slash drifter in this four-wheel drive. Plus, I love two roofs, so that's always a plus. Oh, sorry. I didn't put any body pins on these cars, so make it easy to pull the body off and on and off. The next car is my one of my favorite little cars. It's the Traxxas 116 scale. Mini Rally, or Ford Fiesta in this case. The body's pretty dinged up. Um, I need to get a new one of those soon. So I'm running a Castle 1406 4600 kV motor in here with a Sidewinder 3. And as you can see from the size of that pinion, it's meant for speed. That is a 40 tooth pinion with a 50 tooth spur. It's running a 2 cell LiPo, but if I put a 3 cell, I'm pretty sure it's going to take off. Uh, right now I've got the suspension pretty much slammed, so it's it goes as fast as it can, or it's as stable as it can at high speed. Uh, these are actually tires and wheels that I'll be doing a review of soon. They're from Hobby King, and they cost me, I believe it was $6 for the whole set. So that's a pretty good deal, and you'll see in the review if they're good or not. So on to the next car. My next car is my Viterra Twin Hammers. So... This car is a lot of fun, but right now it's not running. I'm going to take the cage off. I didn't put any screws, so it's easy to take on and off. 
Uh, right now it's only got the motor and the shifter servo. Uh, normally I either run a Castle uh, brushless 3800 SCT setup, or I run this brush setup which is the Titan motor and an XL5 ESC. The reason I use the brush motor is for crawling and then the brushless motor is for all out speed and bashing. And normally I have a Savox 1258TG servo, which is right now in my Formula 1 car, in the F103. Take this off. The next car is one of my favorites. It's my true and great, there's so many words I can use to describe this, but my great and fast B5N. So I'm going to take the body off real quick. So as you can see, I'm kind of running, not the standard layout, but a inline layout, which gives you a little bit more weight up front, and so it gives you a little bit more steering. I'm running a Tekken Gen 2 17.5 Redline motor, and a, which is kind of buried in here, a 120 amp ESC from Hobby King, the Trackstar series. Now I know this ESC seems like it would overheat since it's, the cooling fins are against the battery and all that, but it really doesn't get... It gets a little warm, but not hot. The servo I'm running is a solar servo. It's the D770, I believe it is. It's the fastest one of the three. And then I'm running a Orange RX receiver from Hobby King. Let's put the body back on. And my last car is my old and faithful SC10B. So the reason the back panels are orange with blue is because I'm currently painting up a body, golf kind of scheme body for it, and I haven't finished it completely, but I finished the back panels and I need new ones anyway, so I put those on. Um, and here I'm running, if I can get the body off, I'm running a Castle SC SCT system, which gives it gobs of power. Right now I don't have a receiver in it, but I will be putting one in very shortly. The servo is a uh, solar servo, it's a D771, I believe. And yeah, so that's about it for my collection video. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments box below. If not, please like, share, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.